In this video, we're going to prove the triangle inequality for real numbers. So let's go ahead and do it. Proof. Before we do the proof, let me try to outline the goal of our proof. The goal is we're going to show that the absolute value of A plus the absolute value of B squared is greater than or equal to the absolute value of A plus B squared. If we can prove this, then we can just take the square root of both sides and we get the above inequality and we're done. One useful fact that we're going to use in our proof is the following. Note that for every real number x, if you look at the absolute value of x squared, this is the same thing as x squared. So we're going to use this fact throughout the proof. So let's go ahead and do it. So for all real numbers a and b we're going to start by looking at this so absolute value of a plus absolute value of b quantity squared this is equal to well there's a formula to multiply this out you square the first term you multiply these and you double it so plus two absolute value of a absolute value of b plus, and then you square the last term. So the absolute value of b squared. This is greater than or equal to, well, we can replace the absolute value of a squared with a squared, plus. And then we know that the absolute value of a is greater than or equal to a. So we can replace the absolute value of a with a. Likewise, the absolute value of b is greater than or equal to b. So we can replace the absolute value of b with b. And again, using this property here, we know, that the, we know that the absolute value of b squared is simply b squared. And so this is equal to a plus b quantity squared. But this is the same as the absolute value of a plus b squared. So we've shown that the absolute value of a plus the absolute value of b, the whole thing squared, is greater than or equal to the absolute value of a plus b squared. So now if we take the square root, we end up with the absolute value of a plus the absolute value of b greater than or equal to that. It est, writing it backwards, the absolute value of a plus b is less than or equal to the absolute value of a plus the absolute value of b. And that completes the proof of what's called the triangle inequality. So this is probably the easiest uh, way to prove it. I hope this video made sense.